Hello and welcome to the Ladies Football Show on the 42 with the LGFA. I'm your host, Emma Duffy. We've dialed our mouths, Caroline O'Hanlon and Tyrone's Neve Woods, who are in Australia for the Commonwealth Games. And we've them on the line to chat about everything from ladies football to netball. So I think we're just going to say hello to the girls there. How are you, lads? Hi. Hi. <laughs> so you're just back from the opening ceremony, are we? Yeah, we're just in the door there um, and some of the guards are just watching it on the TV now next door. <laughs> Brilliant, so you're going to give them a shout out? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe you could kind of take us through the opening ceremony and, and what was it like as an experience? Um, it's, it's hard to describe, isn't it? It was a very surreal experience. We went um, to the Carrera Stadium where the Gold Coast AFL team's based, so it's a massive, massive stadium, a uh, full house and... Um, we were kept in a, a holding bay for what a couple of hours, sure, sure. Uh, and then out into the stadium to all the crowd and all the razzmatazz. So um, it was it was an amazing experience. Wasn't it? it was fantastic. Um, probably as Karen said, it was very surreal. Um, just even being there and being a part of it. Um, but it was an amazing opportunity. And personally, it was um, a delight for me to be able to see Caroline to lead us out. Um, and be the flag bearer, which was a wonderful opportunity for her and fully deserved. Of course, and Caroline, that experience of, of leading you out and, and carrying the flag, obviously it's a, it's a huge personal personal moment for yourself and you must, must have been quite emotional even. Yeah, no, it, it was an amazing experience um, and it shows how far I suppose even Nepal has come. Last time we were um, sort of new to the whole experience and... Um, this time it shows probably the recognition that um, the netball team has within the greater team NI. So um, I was just delighted to be there and it was a great, great honour to be to be there at the front with um, all the girls behind me. And I suppose when you found out that you were you were getting that role, what was the feeling like then? Um, I was shocked, to be honest. Um, I uh, didn't expect to, to, um, to be considered at all. And there's so many really um, experienced and quality athletes within the team. Um, so it's just honoured to be considered. Um, but as I say, I'm very surprised. And I suppose, Neve, looking at the at the match tomorrow, you're facing Australia. What's it going to be like? They're the hosts. All eyes are on them. Yeah, that's it. Um, I suppose they're obviously the host country. And they're also um, number one in the world. Um, so for us going out um, tomorrow to face Australia, it's an amazing opportunity for us. Again, it too will be an amazing experience and um, there'll be a full arena there to watch and I suppose it's an opportunity that we're really looking forward to and um, I suppose we all can't wait to play them tomorrow. Of course, and I suppose kind of what are the are the prospects for Northern Ireland overall, like who else in the group and things like that? Um, there's two pools of teams, so in our group we have um, Australia, um, then South Africa, Jamaica, uh, Barbados and Fiji um, so we are currently 8th in the world um, and we finished 7th in the last Commonwealth game so we're really out to, to better that result um, obviously you'll take each game and you're going out to win every game um, and as Neve says we need very little motivation for tomorrow um, we were down looking at the venue um, yesterday and it's it's an amazing so facility good. like it was class um, and it'll be a full house obviously with Australia um, being the home team so um the girls are just really excited and you know we've been here for a week now so we're just really raring to get going. Of course and I suppose Neve, like you do have a fairly busy schedule and it's going to be kind of tight turnarounds and recovery and stuff like that. Maybe you could take us through the plans that way. Um, yeah well I suppose um, every day we have a court training session and um, I suppose looking at things um, that we want maybe to improve on or correct from the, the previous day's game and also to look at the opposition and see maybe what we're going to put into place in preparation for the next team. Um, we also have our strength and conditioning and we have our pool recovery sessions. Um, it's easy to say that the pool recovery is a lot easier here when the sun's shining and you have an outdoor pool right beside you. Um, but as you said, it's a busy schedule um, with training and games. And I suppose we went to Tasmania last week. Um, so we had a week's training camp and we fitted in three games there as well as our training sessions. So that really has prepared us well um, ahead of the Commonwealth Games starting tomorrow. And, you know, you touched on the heat there and stuff. What kind of temperatures are we are we talking about out there? It was high 20s. Yeah. Um, very humid. Very humid. And when you're very fair like me, it's <laughs> not a <easy> time. <laughs> 
<laughs> so a bit of a change to home. And I suppose looking back to home this weekend, you're both missing out on, on kind of crunch crunch matches with your counties. So um, Caroline, Armagh, obviously they have a, a big, big game in Division 2, as do Tyrone. So, you know, you're looking at a semi-final spots up for grabs. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we the girls had a disappointing result on um, last weekend against Waterford. Um, so I know they're hurting this week. Um, I was chatting to a few of them, um, uh, but it's, it's a it's a must win game for us this weekend. Obviously, um, their our destiny I suppose, is in their hands. Um, I have my bag packed for the semi final, <laughs> so I have full faith in them. <laughs> Brilliant, and I suppose then as well, you know. They're playing Clare away from home, and Clare kind of they need a win as well. So it is going to be a big, big match for both end from both ends. Yeah, um, it's championship from here on in. So, um, I mean, the girls are going out to, to win the game uh, regardless, but obviously it puts a bit more significance on it. Um, but it's a game that they can win, and um, the squad's been training really well. Um, as I said, we're very disappointed with the result last week. Um, but I mean. What more do you want? You know, a, a big game um, at this time of the year. And likewise, Neve, look, it's literally do or die between yourselves and and Calvin next again. So, how are you gonna gonna keep up to date with that match? Or what's the story time difference wise even? Um, well, at the moment we are nine hours ahead. Um, so last Sunday, myself and Caroline were sitting very, um, as I say, patiently, possibly impatiently, um, waiting on updates and following Twitter feeds and getting text messages, etc. Um, but our girls had a great win last week, um, away to leash, and I suppose this weekend we have the thrown our man and Calvin fighting for two semi-final places. Um, so really, us and Calvin is winner takes all. Um, I suppose personally, it's disappointing to be missing that game, obviously. Um, that was a game that was postponed earlier in the league due to the snow. Um, but I have full faith in the girls that they can go and get a result um, against Cavan at the weekend. And similarly there to our Mads Championship football from here on in. And the girls will prepare well this week ahead of it. And hopefully um, we'll get the right result. And I too have my semi-final bag packed. <laughs> And hope, um, hope that we'll have some final to come home to. So ideal situation, obviously, is that Tyrone and Arma get through the semi-finals, and you're both happy over in Australia. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose maybe we could kind of talk a bit about Gaelic football last year. Um, what are kind of the prospects for Armagh this summer, Caroline? You bowed out against Kerry, was it, in the quarter-final stages last year? So I suppose looking to this year, you're hoping to build on that big time. Yeah, um, absolutely. We were very disappointed with that um, going out so early, but um, we have sorry. I we were very disappointed to go out so early. Um, we've new management in, and things are going really well. The girls are training really hard, so um, you know we're looking forward to the championship. We have uh, Calvin in the first round, so that'll be a really, really tough match for us. Um, obviously, James Daly's in charge, and. Um, he knows a lot about us, but um, look, we relish the game and um, Ulster football is really competitive as always. So, um, you, you know, and there's no easy game. So it'll be a really tough game for us and we'll have to improve from where we are now. And of course, yourselves at Tyrone, Neve, you had kind of disappointment on the last day in, in Crow Park against Tip, looking to build on that come championship too. Um, yeah, I suppose as a whole, um, last year, we had um, a promising year in that we brought a lot of younger new girls into the panel and really progressed with every game. Um, ultimately, obviously, we lost out in the All-Ireland final, um, which was devastating. Um, but we lost out to an excellent temporary team and who were fully deserved winners on the day. Um, but we've learned a lot from that. And again, we've added to the panel this year again and we'll hope to go one step further. Um, I suppose as regards also championship, there are now three teams in the intermediate championship. There's ourselves, Fermanagh and Down. Um, so it makes for a competitive also championship as well. Uh, and obviously a championship run um, that we'll be looking forward to. Of course. And then I suppose a bit about off the pitch. Neve, you're a PE teacher. Yes, um, I have PE teachers in Cairns and Ballygally. And then I suppose kind of balancing that um, with football and with the netball and with life off the pitch and catching up with family and friends and whatnot. Um, how do you manage it? Um, I suppose it's a busy schedule. Um, every day you have training, obviously every day you have work as well, but um, I suppose you make arrangements so that it works for you. 
Um, myself and Caroline, um, I suppose we don't know any different. Um, I've played both sports and you're obviously um, working outside of that as well and training on top of that. Um, but we really enjoy doing it and um, I suppose that's the main thing, we make it work. And I suppose, Caroline, I feel like I'm I'm sick of asking you this question yourself. You're a doctor too, so you know, obviously, that is a busy, busy lifestyle and trying to balance everything as well. But it's it's just all you've ever known, the same as Neve. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, that's as Neve said. Um, it's just the way it's always been. So we've been. Yeah, sorry, we have to go. Um, the our coach needs a computer. Okay. That's no problem. Well, look, girls, best of luck now going forward, and we'll be we'll be keeping up to date with you guys over the next few weeks and and whatnot over in Australia. Thanks very much for tuning in. Thanks, Caroline.